It's a great honor to join with millions of fellow remnants on this occasion of double honor to a prophet of our time. As citizens of Uganda, we associate strongly with this double honor. Honor has a special place in the body of Christ. I have discovered that honoring our spiritual fathers is often the means of opening the sluice gates of heavenly blessings upon the lives of individuals and nations. But it is not possible to respect, appreciate, and honor those we look up to spiritually unless we fully know them and understand them. And we cannot fully know and understand them unless we voluntarily contribute to, share, and participate in what they do. Therefore, to be real, honor must have a practical dimension. Like many, for long I only knew the caricature of Prophet Elvis Mbonye and the Zoe Fellowship. I only knew the personality created by biased media commentators, not the real person. I knew the stereotype, not the man. That only ended when I decided to intentionally look beyond the layers of caricature. Under the caricature, I found a spiritual leader and father worthy of the highest degree of esteem and honor. Therefore, walking in the footsteps of Timothy, Elisha, and Joshua in their respective relationships with Paul, Elijah, and Moses, we honor Prophet Elvis Mbonye, whose prophetic utterances are a fountain of spiritual power from a divine source. These prophecies spoken with divine authority enable individuals and nations that believe to achieve what they are meant to achieve and to overcome obstacles to peace and prosperity. In the words of Apostle Paul, Prophet Elvis Mbonye is God's ambassador in chains. Today we honor him because he has persevered in obedience to this divine bondage. A prophetic assignment, dear friends, is seldom welcome in high places. Like the prophets of old, Prophet Elvis Mbonye has been the target of persecution and opposition. Therefore, in the same breath with which we honor him, we also invoke the protective words written in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 9, by saying, attack you, they will, overcome you, they can't. Thank you very much. God bless you.